Welcome to part four in our series of PySimple GUI tutorials. In our previous tutorial, we created a fairly complex uh, window. So a fairly complex user interface. Entered name um, into a text input. We had radio buttons right here. We had some calendar buttons right here. Um, and then we had a list box here. So um, what we were able to do is we could enter our name, commit, passport number, it's not my passport number, uh, date of departure, date of arrival, and then choose something right here, choose a city, and then reserve ticket. And we just get a pop-up right here, and we can just see all this information. What we want to do, though, is we want to be able to click on a button on this button called see reservations and then see a list of all of the reservations that we've entered so far so in order to do that um, what we're going to have to do is store information in an array and then open it up in a new window if you haven't checked out the other tutorial on multiple window applications go ahead and do that first because we're going to use the concepts from that to be able to click on a button and then open up a new window so basically, once we're done, um, our application should look like this. So we should be able to enter some, let's enter some data right here. Stuff, 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 uh, stuff. Moscow, make sure that works. Reserve ticket, slightly different format. There's a reason for that exit out of this and then if you go to see reservations we can see a list of our we can see our reservation information right here in this list box it's not very pretty but it's something so let's go ahead and get started with being able to open up another window first so if you remember from our previous tutorial what we needed to do is we need to create a function with a layout um, a window and an event loop so you basically need to replicate uh, this, well, certain elements from this main window into a function. But because this is going to be our, the window that we're creating next, um, it's not going to be any, anywhere near as complex as this. It's just going to be a list box and then an exit button. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we're going to do, we've already got the C reservations button here. So we're good to go on that. Um, what we want to do is we want to create a reservations array. So we want to create something like this, reservations array. And this is just going to be where we store the reservations that we make. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to, we're just going to go ahead and create our, um, our window, our reservations window. Um, so how we're going to do that is we're going to define a function called reservations window. And what we're going to do is we're going to have an input for that function or a parameter for that function, which is going to be reservations array. And I'll explain why we're going to do this in a moment. So we're going to go ahead and create our layout. It's going to be reservations window layout. And this is pretty simple. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this from um, a completed version of the code. Reservations window, something like this. We're going to have another 2D array. And just make sure everything works here. Cool. Okay, looks good. So right here we had a list box with an array full of cities. If we look right here, what we're doing is we're displaying our reservations in a list. So what we're going to do is this reservations array where we stored all of our information. Um, at some point, we're going to input that into this function and we're going to store that right here under values. 
okay? We'll come back to this, but this is where the reservations array is gonna play a part. We're gonna use that reservations array, which is going to be input into this function to populate our um, list box right here. So that's our layout. Um, window is fairly straightforward. We're gonna create reservations window, reservations window again. Um, that's gonna be like this equals sg.window, uh, reservations window. Reservations window layout. Yeah, let's go back here. And then modal equals true. This should be fairly straightforward if you watch the other video. Um, now we need to create the event loop. And again, this is going to be pretty straightforward. So we're going to have event values. Equals reservations window dot read. And then we're going to have if event equals exit. So this just allows us to exit out of the window whenever we feel like it. Um, or event equals sg dot win closed. Break. And then reservations window dot close. So we just created our reservations window our reservations window function. So what we're going to do now is we need to set it up so that we can open up uh, this function from the main from the main event loop. So from the event loop for this particular window. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down to our event loop for this window right here. Um, and we're going to create a new event, or we're going to add a new event for this button right here, C reservations. So event equals C reservations. And then we're going to call our uh, function right here. So we're going to call it reservation, reservations window from here, but with a parameter, which is going to be reservations, oh, sorry, reservations window, but with a parameter that's going to be reservations array. And this reservations array is going to match up to what we saw up here. So this array, this empty array that we created. And how that's going to match up is that every time, well, how that's going to match up is basically every time we submit a reservation, we're going to store it in reservations array. Um, and we're going to create a function to do that. So basically, we're going to create a function called values. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna, well, we're going to create a function called uh, store information. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to create under format input in information. So we're going to create a function called def store information information in array. And what this is going to do is this, this is going to take in values from our main event loop right here. So this is going to take in um, this values right here, which we usually use to access, which we would use to access what's been input right here. And then we're going to take in that empty reservations array that we created before. Um, and reservations array dot append format input information. So we're going to run this function right here. What this function does is this takes values and this turns it into a string that we can use. Now, before we go on, we need to modify this. We need to take away these new line um, characters. 
because what we want to do is we want to display it at in, on one line right here. So we're basically taking in values to get all of these values right here from this particular window. And we're going to turn them into one horizontal string like this in format input information. Let's go ahead and modify this like this. And then we're going to call it from uh, this function. So format input information, values, and then reservations array. So what this function is doing is this is taking in values and reservations array. And this is um, processing values and turning values into a horizontal string. And then we're going to add it to our empty reservations array. So this is a function that's responsible for updating this empty reservations array up here. Um, with information. So how this is going to work right here is what we did right here is when the user when the user clicked on reserve ticket we showed a pop-up and we're still going to look we're still going to do that it's not as, it's not going to be as pretty but we're still going to do that but we're going to add one additional line of code we're going to add store information and in array and then values and then reservation array and what that's going to do is every time someone clicks reserve ticket it's going to take the information that was input right here Um, it's going to, it's going to form, it's, well, it's going to take the information that was input from right here. Um, it's going to go to this function. It's going to format that information using this function up here into a horizontal string. Um, and then it's going to store it in reservations array. So basically right here, we're taking whatever was input here and we're storing that in the empty reservations, the empty reservations array that we created right up here. And we created it up here because we're going to, because we're using it in a variety of different places um, in the code below. So we need, so we need to write the code up here to make it available for the code, all the code down below. Okay, so when we click reserve ticket, we're storing it in an array, and then um, when we click on see reservations, we're displaying all of the different elements in that array as a list. So let's go ahead and run this version of the code that we just created right here and see if there's any errors we made. So far looks good. Let's go ahead and try it out. Myth, blah, 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 nail date of departure, date of arrival, let's say Tehran, let's reserve a ticket, cool. Let's see reservations. Ooh, we got an error. Module Pi simple GUI has no attribute window. Hmm. Ah, I forgot to capitalize window right here. That's what happened. All right. Save that, go ahead and try it again. Just quickly breeze through. Tehran, reserve ticket, okay, see reservations, cool. Flight booked, name, and we can get rid of that flight, flight book part. That doesn't really make much sense here. We've got that. We've got all the information for reservation. So let's do something. Let's go ahead and create a new reservation. Someone named John, different passport number, different date of departure. Let's send this dude to Havana. Let's reserve our ticket so we can store it in the reservations array and let's see reservations. And we've got both of the values in here now. So right now, you can make multiple reservations and you can store them in here. Uh, but once you close this program, obviously since they're just stored 
um, in this array in memory, um, we're going to lose all of this. And this reservations window is going to be blank the next time we open up this window. So um, in the next couple of tutorials, we're going to have a specific tutorial that involves reading and writing to databases. So we can store some data um, in between as opening and closing this application. We'll also have another tutorial that involves validation in order to make sure that the user is entering it, that the user is entering in the kind of data that we want. So I know this is a lot of code and this was a long bit of code. Again, if you remember the last tutorial, we're not going to do this right here, but what you could do is go ahead and put this into a specifically reservations window and format information, input information, even store information array. Um, you could put some of that into a different file, into a different module. And that would make this particular piece of code a bit simpler. Um, but we've already shown an example of doing that. And for now, we're not really going to get into that. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was useful. Remember to like and subscribe. Have a nice day.